here how's it going my name is destiny and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i want to start a new series where i'll be building a fully functional stack overflow clone project with django and trust me this is gonna be amazing Okay, before we go ahead and start building out the projects, we want to take a look at what the end product of this project is going to look like, like the project overview and all that. So over here, we've got our front end, not really bad, pretty good. So all you have to do from here is just sign up. You can either sign up, you can log in, or you can ask a question. For example, let's say you want to ask a question and you are not logged in. If you just click on ask a question, you see that it automatically brings you to the login page. So it wants you to log in before you can actually ask a question. Christian. But the first thing we want to do is just to go ahead and sign up a new user. So let's just sign up a new user. Let's say um, I want to sign up Tom and let's just give Tom an email. Let's say Tom at gmail.com and let's give Tom a password testing 321 and let's give another password confirmation testing three to one and click on sign up so click on sign up and what do you see it says a user with that username already exists over here now let's say we want to create tom one okay so that we get rid of this error then let's provide a password one and the password confirmation again and click on sign up now what do you notice it says account successfully created for tom1 login now so it wants tom1 to log in now so we're going to log in with tom1 provide a password test and treat one and hit sign in so as you can see we get signed in and we came over to the questions page so this is where all the users would post their question hoping to get answers from other users that have answers to their questions so over here you can see this was asked by karen on the 5th october 2021 this was asked by destiny on 5th october 2021 and all that and as you can see over here we have the question title we have the details you can read more and all that so we've got a couple questions over here i just added dummy questions as you can see they are just dummy questions not really active so what you want to do firstly is just go over to our profile we're still going to come back here to see what we have here but firstly let's just go over to our profile and see how everything looks over there so we come over here and click on profile and what do you notice automatically by default tom already has a profile picture over here and his email was filled in he doesn't have a phone number yet um projects and all that he could manually add projects if he wants and there's another coating over here he can as well update his profile so let's say you want to update his profile um name to a big tom something like that so let's say big tom and you want to update the email to big tom at gmail.com and he want to update the bio software engineer and let's say he just want to add a phone number 070 let's just do whatever one 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 yeah whatever and let's say we want to choose a new profile picture for tom so all you have to do is just click on this choose file icon over here and let's choose a picture for tom let me just come over here to my downloads and see if i've got anything okay uh, let me just pick anything at all so i'm just gonna pick this and click on open so we this now all i have to do is hit the update profile and what do you notice it updates tom profile now he has a new profile picture he has a new name he has his bio updated now he has a mobile number and his email so as you can see the profile is working perfectly well and from here you can as well ask a question or view questions so we want to view questions so that we can see all that we can do with this now so the first thing that we're going to do over here is just open up um, one of the questions so i'm going to open up this first one over here but before that let me just refresh the site to make sure that everything is actually loading up correctly so i'm just going to click on this over here here and what do you notice you see we have the title over here in bold and we also have the detail so with this now the user says i have many books in database searching the database returns nothing empty query set and he puts in what he has in his views.py and all that so as you can see this one doesn't have any answer yet and it has only one likes so somebody likes it some like upvote or downvote well i'm just using likes so let's say we want to like this post we can just go ahead and hit the like button and what do you notice now it has two likes let's say you don't Want to like it you could go ahead and dislike it and what do you notice it goes back to one like but let me just give him a like and yeah he has two likes now so we can also go ahead and answer his question let's say we know what to answer or we know the problem to his question we can go ahead and click on answer question and this is going to open up uh this 
parts or the section of the of the website where we're going to answer a user's question so let's just put in our name let's say the person that want to answer this question is flourish franks and let's say what you want to answer is um i'll help you out with the question i'll help you out um check email or check email something like that i'm just writing whatever then we hit um, the post answer now what do you notice it's still supposed to leave us at the detail page don't worry we're still gonna fix that but let's just come over here and what do you notice there is now an answer so it says i'll help you out check email answered by flourish franks and it updates the day which he answered the question so this is pretty good and again other things that we can do over here is just go back let's say we want to go back we can as well go back and we can also delete the post so when we hit this now it says for tree forbidden and do you know why it says for tree forbidden that's because the user that's logged in is not the user that made this post so this was asked by karen but right now big tom is logged in so a user that's not logged in cannot cannot tamper with any other user's post he can only delete or edit his post okay let's say we want to edit this post now see it says 403 forbidden so we can't do much over here now let's just go uh, ahead and create a new question so i want to ask a new question and i want to make sure that it's the logged in user that's asking this question then then i'm going to show you guys what we can do with deleting and editing but before that i'm just going to come over to stack overflow let me just come over to stack overflow and i, I just want to get a, a, a question that i'm going to use over there so let me just get this question let me just get this come over here um just copy this and we're gonna put this over there and let's just populate it in the body section too now we'll post question and what do you notice he has zero likes so he can like his post now he has one likes and also he, he can answer his question for example let's say his big tom just put in his name over there and over here to just put in whatever let's just say we want to put on something like that or there let's just say like this then we'll post answer now what do you notice big tom answer this question over here now if big tom want to delete this you can see it allows him to delete it it says do you want to delete this question then it calls the name of the question over here now you can either cancel or you could delete so let's delete but something is going to happen now so when you delete when you hit this delete button it's supposed to take us back to the list page but i think i forgot to do that but let me just show you guys the question will be gone but we're going to get an error so we hit this now but we get an error it says on save redirect url so we're still going to fix this but what do you notice now the post is gone so let me refresh this and it says page not found so the post was successfully deleted and hopefully you understood what we did over here and a whole lot of things um went into doing this for example we also have a search function over here that's working perfectly well so let's say we want to search for some like api a hit search what do you notice it only filters the post with api and it's let's say we want to search for php and hit search it only filters the post with php and it and we can also log out and log in not bad i'm just log out and log in again okay it says please enter okay i think it's destiny one destiny one we sign in okay so that's pretty much it for the front end and the back end over here now i want to show you guys the database i want to show you guys what the database looks like so i'm just going to log into my database as the admin let me see come over here log in so in our database as you can see we have um a model that takes care of the comments so all the comments stays here so over here is where all the comments are stored the the question the name of the person answering the question the body of the question and all that and also we have another model storing the questions so Karen has a question destiny has a question now when we open this up you will see the name of the user that posted the question the title of the question the body of the question the date the question was created and finally how many people liked the question so in total now we have five users if you come over here you see that we have five users over here and from the five users only two liked this post so one and two so they are the one that actually liked this post and we cannot we can even confirm that so let's come over here and refresh it's the first post now we open this up what do you notice two likes so let's say we come over here and we get let's just say we left all of this one and click on save now come over here and refresh you see we automatically removes one like so that's what the database do does and finally we have uh, a profile model this one stores the profile of each user 
user pretty simple and i'm gonna show you guys how to do all this in this video so that's pretty much it and hopefully this video wasn't too long for the project overview and i hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video and learn a whole lot of things and in the future we will be adding more functionalities more features to this site so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and actually sir what we're gonna be building in this course and i hope you guys like it if you do don't forget to drop a like on this video to actually follow along with the daily course that will be dropping on this channel and finally drop a like on this video for the youtube algorithm and also check out the links in the description why it might be helpful to you and that's pretty much it i hope i'll see you guys in the main main video where we're going to go ahead and start setting up our jungle project so make sure you don't miss it mad love peace out